I thought when I, I when I read the the brief for Syntropy, I thought it sounded such a good challenge to try and. I mean, obviously, with with anything audiovisual or films, you're wanting. I'm wanting to make the the viewer forget their you know be less conscious, maybe more mindful or you know mindfulness or um, that kind of concept. And I thought it was such a, a, a great idea to, to, to tr try and get people absorbed in an artwork and, and, and you know, all the, the health benefits that hopefully come with that. I thought, um, I thought this would really be quite exciting to, to try and see if I could, I could do that, really. So I suppose it was the, the challenge that, that appealed to me and also um, well, the, the, the hope that maybe it could actually help somebody, you know, um, with their with their breathing, with the coherence method that, that I read that I read on your your brief. Um, in terms of my, my general artwork, I'm really just really sound and in, in vision are really my thing, you know, kind of the trying to get those two to work, uh, kind of work together, and uh, kind of create these experiences that are unique and personal and I don't know, just um, exciting to, to, to attempt to, to do that, really. Yeah, well, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. The, um, it's a bit in, in particular for me, my favourite was uh, the centropy with the, the movement. It really reminds me of our murmurations of Star right. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, I've always had a fascination with that phenomena, so it that instantly kind of, grabbed me and was I was able to see the very strong correlation between that and natural movements um, and we know all know that anything if you can get as close to nature and natural growth systems and phenomena as possible there is automatically kind of a, a peaceful resonance that seems to happen mm, yeah. Uh, yeah and with that with that joining up with tech color movement perception of sound and um, it's just it's a quite a, an amazing combination to produce mindfulness and a viewer. Mm, yes, yeah. I mean, um, obviously, those patterns, those, I mean, um, the, the, as you were saying, the murmurations, is that right? Yes, yeah, murmurations yeah. of starling. All right, yeah. Just saying that um, I'm just glad you enjoyed it. But those that those kind of patterns, those natural kind of swathes of, that, that was obviously the inspiration. And I'm just glad that it seemed to have worked. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, no, it did a fantastic job. And the light mode as well. I really appreciated the, um, the again, the completely different mm. type of palette, colour palette involved in that. And because of that, it, it took on this new, kind of a, a newness that was different from the dark mode, but because of the same pattern, the sound. Mm. It's just interesting to see how much a difference colour can make in is, a video yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, that was... Again, tricky, you know, balancing these things. But uh, I, I think with these, with moving artworks, it, it's, it's always so much, well, I personally find it so much more challenging to keep that kind of throw, uh, that, that thread of, um, you know, um, interest, that thread of um, balance of the, the colours and everything. It's, it's difficult, but more worthwhile, you know, um, rewarding, I guess. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Actually, that's so cool. And so do you, um, with your other work then outside of, of Syntropy, do you still, you said that obviously you've got a sound and vision of very much kind of half art in, in synchronised to create this kind of immersive experience. Um, is there any uh, kind of subjects or topics that you tend to get, that you tend to see repeated throughout your work? Um. Well, my other work is is actually quite quite different from this. It's um, <laughs> I suppose it's hard to explain. I, they're kind of um, <laughs> this is going to sound very strange. I, I'm kind of interested in in mime and uh, <laughs> and um, kind of creating three D worlds and um, telling kind of stories without dialogue and um, yeah, kind of about trying to talk about humanity and kind of connections with people and um yeah just trying to keep an open mind as to to what kind of things I'm going to try but uh the last film I, I made was was um about um 
uh, cave paintings and, and horses and kind of um, cave paintings coming to life and the horse kind of moving through um, the history of humanity and things like that, which, I mean, um, that's really what um, my thing is. Um, but I just like to be able to try a bit of different things out of comfort zones and, and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm, um, you know, as you were talking, then you said something about not having words to, uh, as a form of storytelling, mm -hmm. which I think is really sh a part of the concept of syntropy of, because a lot of, say, guided meditations where they use words to try and take a viewer into a, a mindful state often doesn't work because you're engaged in the part of the brain that's that's part of the issue <laughs> trying to get away from association and stop mm -hmm. imagining uh objects and you know like trees and beaches and instead take it down to the perception of reality which is color shape and sound yes and so yeah. with the cave paintings as well like they, they drew what they saw but it was it's still it was more representative of i guess uh, freedom of style in, yeah. Time. Yeah, and it's so, something more direct from from within. I, I feel anyway. It's the way I would want to communicate with with image and sound. And I guess that's um, synchronous with what um, you guys are doing with syntropy and everything, as you yeah. were saying. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the mime as well. That's that's uh, really interesting. I like that. Um, about it's quite a rich concept to kind of dive into. Um same with um sign language as well mm, yes using yeah. shapes to different forms of communication uh, and how to maximize the creative potential of that yeah i know with that that movement with that uh, that kind of uh language with movement is something that i would love to know how to do but um mm. yeah well, i suppose in mind for in, in to do with in mind terms of um, sign language oh um, yes yeah yeah. yeah 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 absolutely yeah me too i I know the out uh, the alphabet from something, but don't I can't I can't do anything more than that. But yeah, the kind of the primitive communication styles. Mm -hmm. There is there's so much kind of wealth in there for inspiration for and how to then go from cave times to where we are now, yeah. <laughs> technology times. And I think it's the the artist's job, but like like it's, you're one of those artists to kind of bring those two together and meet in the middle. <laughs> well, it's, it's an exciting thing to be part of, really. I mean, uh, I, I really am. Um, I think I think it's great what you're doing, really. Uh, I think um, I hope you're you're getting you know um, uh, good reactions and things like that from people. And... Yeah, we really are. We really are. And what's really lovely that sort of bloomed from this is the relationships with the artists and the collaboration process. Oh, so you're an audio visual, right. so you, you've made music and sound together. But for some artists, only submitted sound or visual. And then at the process of kind of pairing these together to create a completely unique piece of work has been, has been awesome to be a part of. Oh, I think it might have frozen again. Are you back? <laughs> yeah, I, I caught you. I caught you. The... the... A little bit jerky, but but I caught what you were saying. <laughs> oh, that's all. I'm really happy that you're you're happy to be part of this. Thank you.